We're good. All right, guys. No. So I'd like to do my present. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Chill. Okay. So this is bedroom talk where all of us three just talk about anything. So I am low. I I don't have any experience in anything, if I'm honest. But I just talk. That's pretty much it. Hey, Tori, how you doing? <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> So yeah, we're gonna really be talking about anything and everything. Um, we're gonna talk about sports. We're gonna talk about uh, esports, video games, movies, anything, basically that you like. And yeah, this is Martin. Martin. Martin, what's good? <laughs> you gonna you gonna say anything? You're gonna say anything about yourself? <laughs> oh no, yeah, no, that's He's gonna be like, not... I'm Martin. Hey. Yeah. So he's a musician guy. I am. Yeah, I play music sometimes. What kind of music? <laughs> <laughs> I have my guitar here in the back, uh, and I used to play for the orchestra. But apart from that, I listen to a lot of music too. I heard it here <laughs> first. He hears a lot of music. I mean, he listens to a lot of music. Come get him, ladies. Facts. Yeah. So I wanted to talk to y'all basically about the new, the new Apex. Maggie, have y'all seen her abilities yet? Or oh, uh huh. Yeah, uh, yeah, I saw the trailer. And what'd you think what? of it? <laughs> you immediately just deferred to me. Okay, <laughs> honestly, I think she's gonna be a super powerful character. Like, I feel like her and Valkyrie are gonna make a really good squad, but that's because I made Valkyrie. Yeah, I was well, gonna s- go, 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 Martin. Well, and also the passive where she gets the speed, be- speed boost from the shotguns. That's mm-hmm. shotguns are already the best guns in the game. One. And then two, she's like a she's like an octane with a shotgun, which is soup, which is crazy scary. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I feel like I'm gonna be really terrified though, because like honestly, with her rush, like with all of her abilities, she's gonna be able to rush me and I'm gonna be like, oh god, because I'm not I I kind of <laughs> I kind of get sprayed. I like to do all under it, pressure. defensive. Uh-huh. I don't like mm, and <laughs> yeah, she's a, and she's the defensive. perfect counter. Yeah. So yeah, so she counters her tactical, this little thing that she she shoots it out and it goes through barriers. So that's crazy mm-hmm. because she can, so first she rushes down with the shotgun. Uh, and then if you try to put a Gibby bubble up, you, mm-hmm. get, you get sprayed. And if, you, if you're a rampart, that shit goes right through it. And who else? I guess I was- Watson too, kind of. Yeah, I was gonna say also that she's the ability where if you are being shot by her, she, she can see you through the walls, but only her character herself can only oh, see you through the walls. Yeah, right. no, dude. That yeah. one, I feel uh, like that's crazy. a big power up. It's only for a short amount of time. I wonder what's the time limit on it though, because it says uh, I feel like if you look under, seconds. it says like four. Oh my god, my family blurred. Yeah, um, for a few seconds. I wonder how many though. Because whenever I saw it, it very the, I saw it in a trailer. It showed it for like at least like five seconds, and then it stopped. But I feel like just with that, it's gonna like I feel like she's gonna be the most powerful one on there because I mean she has she has Bangalore speed, she has the destruction where she goes through all the uh you know Gibraltar's bubble. She has where she can see through walls, like in the that ball that the one that she throws, the ultimate one. No matter where they are, they're running away. They it chases after. I feel, so I feel like she's gonna be the most powerful one right now. But yeah. I feel like later in the future, people are gonna be using her to their advantage, and they're gonna have to like downgrade her, I guess, a little bit later in the future. I feel like that's, I feel like I feel like that's gonna happen powering. regardless. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I mean, with every powerful legend, they have to balance them out. Like, of course, they're gonna be powerful at the start, but then once they balance them out, everybody's kind of like, well. Time to go back to my other character. Right. Yeah. Originally, yeah. originally I was gonna main seer, but because I did Bloodhound, like I played Bloodhound a lot, and then I found out seer was very powerful, and then you know, I will say I do prefer uh, was it Bloodhound scan more than seer because seer you have to be very precise. Yeah. To like scan someone, but Bloodhound, no matter what, he always gets scanned by him, which or them, he gets scanned by them. I honestly, I, I honestly, I oh, keep saying honestly. Okay, I loved Bloodhound, but now I'm kind of switched to Valkyrie. And Adrian noticed this. Okay, so 
when I used to play Bloodhound a lot, I would scan because I was terrified of being killed. <laughs> I was I was terrified of somebody <laughs> feel, popping out of nowhere and killing me. But you feel protected no matter what because I feel like if a team has Bloodhound, you're pretty much set. Yeah, you could track down enemies, and then whenever pop that ult, dude, you're super fast. Mm-hmm. And then now that I made Valkyrie, I honestly. I I keep feeling like I need the missiles. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, it and helps a lot. the flying ability. Uh, did you hear that? Um, they're gonna. I think they're gonna not. They're gonna increase the time it takes for the ult to come back. For, the, for Val- Valkyrie. Yeah, for Valkyrie. So Ooh. I think, and I think I saw this in um one of the Apex tournaments I was watching. I think one of the commentators said, "Yeah, the." Ultimate comes back very quick and it's easy to escape too. Mm-hmm. Using it because you get it so fast. Mm-hmm. Yeah, damn. Yeah, I mean, then, okay, I guess I guess that okay. kind of makes sense. Yeah, sorry, because uh um there's already so many re- reposition ultimates moves in the game, right? There's the uh, Octane's jump pad. Uh Damn, I'm blanking. <laughs> I swear there's more. Uh, Octane's jump pad, um, Valkyrie's repositioning. Um, you know, I'm backing me up. I damn. I, isn't there more? I'm not. I swear I'm not. I'm trying to, I'm crazy. Trying to think of what you're referencing. I, I kind of. The, the like a repositioning out. ultimate that just gets you out of. Situation. Oh, Loba. Loba, she throws her ring and oh, yeah. you pretty much get out of the oh, situation. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. then um, Pathfinder's rope. Pathfinder's yeah, rope. Yeah. Uh <laughs> Wraith's portal and Ash's portal. And yeah. um what's her name? Ash. Ash, she gets you out too. Portal. Right, exactly. Yeah. Did you hear about how um for caustic now they're gonna basically take well oh, okay, yes. so if the thing's going if his little I can't think of it. His, his gas traps um, are going gas. off. You could shoot at it, and it goes away. Even mm-hmm. if it is, even if it's already like been shot at, you can do it no matter what. Because like before, I know that if it's not already spraying its gas out, you can shoot it. But now you can shoot it no matter what. Which I feel like people aren't really gonna main him anymore because I feel like yeah, with that it's protection. But with it, since it won't have that, people will less likely play him. I, I mean, I feel like it's it's going to kind of be a little bit more what happened to Watson and, you know, how they kind of downgraded her, ga- not gas traps, her electric fences. What do they do? Remember, um, I think, I don't think you get damaged from it anymore, do you? I mean, I if you run into it while you're low health, you'll die. No, no. Then what's I the think, point? No, I think what happened is... Uh, no, yeah. So if you run through it, it slows you down. And I think it damages you maybe 10 damage per tick. Oh, okay. So it so does the, damage so the, you only a little the, bit. Yeah. The trap thing about it is it slows you down so you get uh, focused really easily. That's the main thing. You get stunned. Mm-hmm. So, I forgot how yes. our abilities were at the start because I came in around season five. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. So Watson's a pretty complicated character. Um, she has her fences and she and can place she down has her energy thing where um it, it recharges your shield mm-hmm, exactly and so, i feel like it's always been the same like that mm-hmm. and then but they've changed uh they've her changed ult, her i know bit. her ult doesn't it have now like a time limit i Instead think of it no idea. destroyed it has a time limit i honestly haven't yeah. played her since i when she first came out I don't play yeah, her at it all. Does. So Watson's thing is uh, her special thing is the shield regeneration, right? And then when you she puts on her ultimate, it regens her shields, everyone's shields in the team. Um, mm-hmm. It blocks grenades and projectiles. And it also lets Watson places more fences. So whenever you see mm-hmm. like a building with like 20 fences, that's because Watson has her ultimate. I was gonna say I think it also regenerates even enemies if they come up and they use it. Mm, I feel like it mm, regenerates their shield yeah. as well. Yeah, it does. Mm. It would be kind of cool if it didn't regenerate. <laughs> the other well, then she'd be broken team. though. I think. 
because she's she's really she's picked she's uh highly picked and competitive ranked mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. i feel like that would make her <laughs> pretty oh broken. and i was gonna talk about did you hear about the new mode that they're gonna have isn't it like nine versus nine or is i'm eight excited versus eight? for that one yeah. I, I love that it's gonna be chaos like mm-hmm. not that it like it's gonna be like breaking stuff but like it'll be chaos like you know how arenas is just like okay you're there it's three across the map and us three over here nine versus nine is gonna be more chaotic and i love it right isn't exactly. it just like a yeah. bigger isn't it just a bigger arenas yeah pretty much i don't really but know it's, anything it's about a little it. bit it's a little bit different but basically um well, the important thing about it is you get into more gunfights per time elapsed. So I think that's really good. I'm gonna I'm gonna play control a lot because yeah, same with the yeah we'll with play the together. arenas. <laughs> yeah, us three. <laughs> um, with with arenas, you get you go against one other team, and you only get maybe three, four, five, six games, right? on average but with control you'll get into like 10 20 15 plus gunfights every game so you're improving you're improving your chances at becoming better which i really i really like that i hate that's why i hate sometimes the better royale i'm not a fan sometimes yeah i feel like it's getting kind of old right exactly and you don't get into as many gunfights yeah which should be the uh, point i need to stop saying that <laughs> <laughs> i i love landing in high high activity areas so you know when everybody lands together i love that moment of when you only have a certain amount of guns in one area and so everybody's just punching each other to get to it yeah yeah uh, i mean and it's and it's the it's that's the rush of playing a shooter you want to kill people <laughs> I mean, you do you want to kill people uh you want to in the wanna... video game in the I video game. like <laughs> with battle royale sometimes you can be you can be like 15 minutes in and you haven't fought once yeah, exactly uh-huh but with arenas so, and stuff like that you immediately right and control is even better than arenas yeah because there's going to be less waiting time per gunfight that you're in Oh, so I'm mm-hmm. I'm a big fan of control. We'll see into it whenever it comes out. Do you know when it comes out? It should be relatively soon. I mean, be, because this is be the this, character. It should be this week, right? This Tuesday, right? Yeah. Okay, guys. So the next topic we're going to talk about is um, Star Wars: The Book of Boba Fett. Um, if you have not seen Episode Six, please log out right now. We're going to have um, some major spoilers, and we're going to have. Um, our opinions from Lourdes because she has not seen uh, Star Wars movies. So we'll see her intake on this. So Martin, do you want to start off the conversation? Okay. Yeah, uh, sure. Uh, it was mid. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. You thought it was mid? <laughs> there you go. So no. like, cut that, cut that, get that out right now. <laughs> no, be like, guess, guess we're going to lose a host. He's just gone. <laughs> so. All right, we're uh, accepting every movie mid. I've realized for a new one. Yeah, no, okay, no, I really liked it. Okay, so um, wait, the, can I tell actually, Lourdes something real quick? Yeah. Okay, so basically, for context, Lourdes, Jedi's back then they're supposed to have no connection with people. They're supposed to be focused on only, um, like. They're not supposed to focus on themselves. They're supposed to be focused on other people. They can't be in relationships. They can't be married. They can't, you know, they can't have attachment to other people that are just supposed to be fighting for the best. Mm. So that's their whole idea of Jedi. Okay, Martin. Okay. Yeah. So um, let me fix this thing real quick. Sorry. Yeah. So the Mandalorian. Um, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> it basically is the Mandalorian. <laughs> it basically, is, yeah, it basically is. Okay, yeah. So, the at first, I didn't think I was gonna like it because it's just oh, Boba Fett. You know, yeah, he's cool, but uh, the show is I don't know. I feel like it was just a cash grab at Disney, somewhat. Then I watched the first episode. I was like, okay, this is cool. 
And it, it shows in the first episode, it shows how Boba Fett comes out of the Sarlacc pit because it was eaten. How he survived. How he survived, exactly. And he survived because yeah. of the Beskar suit he's wearing. And he got out of this, he punched himself out of the Sarlacc pit. And he got kidnapped by sand people. And so it goes mm-hmm. through all his story with the sand people and how he forged alliances with all the people on Tatooine. It was really cool. And But now in these last two episodes, I watched them back today, both of them. Um, and was the sixth episode? Episode six or seven? This is, a new, this is a sixth episode. The The finale is on Wednesday. That's the seventh episode. Oh, okay. True, true. Okay. So episode five then is literally just the Mandalorian. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and it's... So... It's, no, yeah, keep, yeah. So I was going to say, so basically in the other actual show, The Mandalorian, it ends off that Baby Yoda is taken away by Luke Skywalker, which is uh, supposed to be five years after, uh, was it Return of the Jedi? Mm-hmm. Episode six. Episode, yeah, episode six. So, yeah. <laughs> sorry, I get mixed up with the prequels. <laughs> so um, basically, he gets taken away by Luke Skywalker, and then in it ends like that and we honestly i honestly thought that it was gonna be done like i thought we're not gonna see mando anymore it seemed like it was done and then the book of both fed it showed his story like martin said and then episode five it showed that mando is go see grogu which is baby yoda and so in episode six uh I, actually episode five he gets a new remember he gets a new uh ship ship which is the Naboo Starfighter, which is a very yes, old dude, that was that was very dope. Man, very I, old I want airplane. It. Yeah, but it's super yeah. sick. I want I want one of those. Uh and then episode wish... six. Go, go, go. No, 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 no. Yo, keep going. So then and then episode six, we see finally uh Mando goes to an unknown planet. We don't know yet where it's at, but we see Luke mm-hmm. Skywalker again training uh, Grogu. And um, Ahsoka Tano was there, which is uh, someone that was being trained Crazy. by Darth Vader himself a long time ago, before he went bad, which was Anakin Skywalker. Pretty good. Um, and I, as I was saying, uh, Ahsoka, she was introduced mm-hmm. in The Mandalorian, and The Mandalorian himself wanted her to train Grogu to be a Jedi, but she declined because he's too attached and loves Mando, which Gro- I think... Grogu, which I understand because she was the Padawan to like the how do you say like her master was Anakin Skywalker slash Darth Vader, Darth Vader. and mm-hmm. she saw how he was connected because Anakin Skywalker had a whole second life. He had a wife. He had he's about to have kids, and he's not supposed to do that, obviously. Mm-hmm. So she saw that if if he has attachment he's going to go and be dark just like him. So she's like, I decline. I don't want to train him. So then I guess she referred Luke to train Grogu. And now at the end of episode of six, he says, well, you can either take this gift that the Mandalorian made you and you become a Mandalorian and you can't be a Jedi, or you can choose a lightsaber and I train you to be the best Jedi at my new Jedi school. So you choose. And it ends off like that. So people are mad because they think that he shouldn't have a choice, that it's kind of hypocritical because Leia, Leia Skywalker, uh, she's she has a boyfriend and she has kids and he mm-hmm. still and she was still being trained as a Jedi. They think it's kind of hypocritical because why can she do it? But why can't girl who can't? You know what I mean? So there's some controversy over that but i'm kind of in the middle about it yeah i mean it like you said before uh leia isn't really a jedi at all she's not yeah. she's just yeah she's just because she already has children and uh on solo right not like she's gonna give those up that would be that would be crazy if she did but that's not gonna happen Mm-hmm. Um, but can I say something really quick about the fifth, fifth, fifth episode? Mm-hmm. So um, in the fifth episode, he 
comes back with a bounty and he goes to the two Mandalorians uh, yes, that there's... are with his like clan. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, he goes there and he has a dark saber with him, which is okay. <laughs> a lot to explain here. Uh, this is a, do you want me to explain the dark saber? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, to Lord this. So basically, basically, a dark saber <laughs> was made for a certain Mandalorian. The first, I guess, he was like the first Mandalorian. Was he? I don't know. He was like in the beginning of the Mandalorians, and he had his own light, uh, dark saber because he was half Mandalorian but also half Jedi. So, um, it's said that whoever possesses the dark saber is going to have to be the ruler of mandalore um which we do see oh, man there's so much to talk about because <laughs> there yeah. is there's so many characters that are connected uh -huh. to it um yeah. but he, like i was saying yeah it, it's just a very powerful sword that was to mandalorian and jedi okay go yeah so i was gonna say um they would Mandalorian, the Mandalorian, Din Djarin, that's his name, and the and another Mandalorian, they fight over the dark saber because the other Mandalorian doesn't think he should he deserves it. So mm -hmm. they fight, and then Mando, I'm just gonna call him Mando, uh, mm -hmm. he wins, right? And then after the other Mandalorian, that's like the forger that makes the the armor for Grogu. Her Baby name's Yoda. she. Her name's uh the armor. The armor, okay. <laughs> yeah, so uh, she says to the other Mandalorian, have you ever taken off your helmet? And he goes, no. But then he asks Mando, and he says, yes. Right? And so basically the Mandalorians are not allowed to take off their helmet. They're Thanks. to no human being, and if they get taken it off to, they're not allowed to. And in Mandalorian, the last season before, uh, when Grogu was about to be taken away from Luke Skywalker, he shows his face because he's never seen his face. Like he was saying, like goodbye to him. Here's what I look like. And blah blah blah. So then when she asks him, "Did you take off your mask?" He can't lie to her because I mean she's like head of everything. And then she says that you're not a Mandalorian anymore, and he kicked her out. He, she kicked him out, basically. Exactly. And then a lot of people, I I heard a lot of people be mad about that. Just just lie. And they were just saying, like, you didn't have to just lie to her so he can be the, be the, what's, what am I, the, I guess, the head of the Mandalorian? Reign over Mandalore. He could have if he lied. Lotus is like, I don't know what's going on right now. <laughs> no, I don't know. But, and I saw a lot of people say just lie to her, but I'm like, that's his belief. That's his religion right yeah he's done it forever he's okay the thing is mandalorians like the true mandalorians are not considered human beings they're a specific like alien type being but when mando was little his whole planet was being well his city was being attacked mm -hmm. and the mandalorians took him in and they're like okay well we took you in you're a youngling you're now a mandalorian so he like put his whole beliefs over it so what i was asking is like so do you think that he should have a choice grogu should have a choice or do you think like if he were to choose which one do you think he would choose do you think he would choose the lightsaber or do you think he would choose the gift that mando gave him was like a like a shirt that it's... protects him it's like chain a chain shirt chain, and chain it mail. protects him yeah chain mail mm -hmm. so he said you choose a chain mail but you will leave and you don't become a Jedi, or you choose the lightsaber, but you never ever get to see Mandalorian again, and you become a Jedi. So I wanted to see which one do you think he would choose? Probably the chainmail, because there's he's still a baby, and uh, he's he's fifty years old, by the way. Okay, well <laughs> he's baby Yoda, <laughs> fifty year old yeah. baby. Um, I don't think there's I don't think he takes the lightsaber. I mean, uh, it's there would be i feel like that would be really disappointing as, he, as an ending for the show right they're building everything everything up and but there's a whole the season finale, three of mandalorian coming up like what else is there gonna be right exactly yeah exactly so there's no way they let him just be with lou forever and then what happens in the in the future movies with the with the sequels he dies mm -hmm. 
with Luke? No. No, I think I think maybe Yoda has to be has to go with Mando to do whatever they want all over the galaxy. So I'm gonna speak on my opinion about it. So I've watched a lot of. You know, I actually videos. think you're wrong. <laughs> huh? Yeah, <laughs> no, like you're gonna say actually you're wrong. No, oh, okay. I was like, uh, yeah. I've seen some of <laughs> the saying she was wrong. I was like, I was like being very blatant here. He's just telling you how it feels. He didn't even start. I was it's like, just, okay. Yeah. No. So basically, <laughs> I've seen some videos on it that he might, he might just force both of them up. And that he chooses both ways because he, you know, I feel like we've had a person be Mandalorian and a Jedi. Why can't he be Mm. it too? So I Mm. feel like maybe he might choose that way. Or I have seen uh, people do theories like he's going to choose the the chain mail. And then so Luke's going to take him back to Mandalorian. But if you don't know this, in the Book of Boba Fett, there's actually going to be a battle uh with a bunch of people and they think that when luke takes him he's gonna be helping in the battle to help the mandalorian and he's gonna see that his like potential and he's gonna teach him how to use the dark saber because bando doesn't know how to use the dark saber because he's never really ah okay like, i see what you're know saying how to use it because yeah if you watch the episode mando whenever he's fighting with the dark saber he's pretty much struggling the whole time because he says it's heavy because he's thinking of something else and he's like something's bugging him in his mind which i think the reason why he was n- not really focusing is because he was worried about grogu because he hasn't seen him in a while but i feel like luke's gonna train him or maybe he trains him and he becomes a Mandalorian slash Jedi. That would be sick. So it's like, why why not? Because uh, the first Mandalorian Jedi, his name was Tarvisla. Mm-hmm. Tarvisla, something like that. And he did it, so why can't Yoda do it? Or Grogu do it? That would be I know, this... I know, I know Ahsoka ain't going to do it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that would be the sickest ending, honestly. Yeah. So. Lourdes, what do you think of it? Yeah, Lourdes. It's honestly wild. Okay, I'm going to tell you the truth here. Um, it's very hard for me to catch on all of this <laughs> because my brain's like, okay, so my brain's like, okay, well, we're going to remain spoiler free because I just have a bad memory. And so <laughs> when it comes to movies and stuff like that, I do remember specific parts of The Mandalorian. It's just my family kept watching it without me. And I was like, okay, I have homework to do, but mm. thanks. Yeah, I think and your so homework is to watch The Mandalorian and the Boba, and Boba Fett. Yeah, dude, my homework is literally I need to study, but like, <laughs> <laughs> but like, I, I do remember that one portion, like, where you're talking about, um, what was it the character of like, why doesn't he just lie? I feel like it's more so in his personality, like, if you see who kind of who he is a little bit from what I could, could recall. He does have, I don't remember. I think he still has a little, he does have integrity. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it's like yeah, slowly definitely. building it up in him more. And so I think that's the reason why he didn't lie. That and like, I don't know. I wanted to talk one more thing. And Lourdes, I know you're not going to know at all what I'm going to be talking about. But I wanted to talk about this one thing. So Martin, who do you think stole or not stole helped grogu to get out of the jedi temple when it was being attacked by oh the shit the execute clones. order 66 Ooh, uh wait a second yeah where did he so he ended up on tatooine right just somehow do you know what i'm talking about lordis i feel like you're okay, kind of getting did it happen did it happen last okay i don't know how to say this um because like when the series came out last year, I think last year. Was it that timeline? Like, do you want me? Do you want me to just try to yeah. sum it up for you a little bit? No, because I'm going to space out. No, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, I was ready. All right. I know me too. Well, I was like, I was ready. Okay, okay, yeah. okay, okay, <laughs> okay, okay. I'm gonna try to say it as simple as possible. So, Anakin Skywalker, the one that's Darth Vader, right? Huh. He uh oh this is bad already okay so basically he and palpatine uh 
put a chip in the clones to be um how do you say like they were ordered to kill all the jedis in the jedi temple which it was execute order 66 so whenever they they killed the younglings i'm pretty sure you remember that when he killed up kids and he killed all the adult uh jedis so basically we find out in the mandalorian that grogu was actually there when it was happening but he's alive so we're like figuring it out oh in the last episode uh luke goes into his mind and sees his memories and he can and in the in the vision you can see all the jedis being attacked and killed very badly by the clones and we're basically trying to figure out who saved him and who put him in like somewhere i have a theory but then again i'm like i don't know because i started playing the game which is canon to the timeline which is jedi the fallen order and i've seen people play it already but cal i think it's cal, cal keist Kestis. he's a Kestis, he's the main character and he was there when he was doing whenever the execute order 66 was happening yeah i think maybe he helped and took him but then again in the game he just ran away but it, it would be kind of nice. There's some theories that just a librarian from the movie did it. But then again, oh. I just hope for for the, you know, just for a, for the fans, I feel like they would make Cal do it. That would, I mean, that would be crazy. But then, I don't know. Uh, the, the Boba Fett, uh, with this show, they like to do a lot of fan service yes uh so i guess i could it could make sense but i don't know i feel like i'd be i feel like if they put cal kestis in i'd be a little disappointed like really like this guy like it would be cool but then after looking at back it i would be like really (laughs) you know what i mean yeah so but i mean we'll have to figure it out on wednesday yeah because it had to be somebody there's no way to just let that go so yeah excited so, yeah am i the asshole for quitting my job with my husband's business all right my husband okay. runs a business out of our home after his old secretary quit he asked me to help out with her responsibilities i've done this for five years now this is my full-time job but there's no pay for it he says i need no pay because i can buy wherever i like and he can pay the bills I feel no ability to buy what i want despite what he says we have to replace our septic tank but he refuses to save money for it he says he'll make a loan out of it if we need it and pay it back i can't save money myself last week i saw a confirmation email that he just purchased a thousand stamp a thousand dollar stamp for his collection without asking me this was this was after he got upset at me for buying two expensive 50 dollar new litter box for the cat Last week, he was yelling at me about preparing a client's forms fast enough. What? I was ticked off and said, what are you going to do, doc my pay? He called me immature, and I said I was quitting. He said it hurt the business if I left, since he'd have to hire a secretary. I said that this was his problem, and I can't get another job to make up for it. I've been submitting resumes. He said nothing to make me want to back down. I told him that he could give me a salary, and I would come back. But our family members think I should stop with the tantrum by now and just get back to work. They think it's ridiculous that I want a salary for money that will go back into the same bank account. Am I the asshole? Mm I I mean, if he's literally saying, oh, you could buy whatever you want, but then being like, actually, no, you can't. Because then, like, basically they have their money all in one, like one, like one fund, one bank, like not one fund, one bank. Like, think about it like one jar, all that money, and it's like she doesn't have anything to really spend on herself because he's getting angry that she's spending it. I know, like, you know, he's spending it like on the business. I I don't know if that stands for the business or whatever, but yeah, that doesn't make any sense because he's like, they always buy whatever. Oh, I was about to say, they always say never never do business with family, like, never do it, like, never go into business with family for a reason. Because things mm-hmm. will not work out. Like you do not want to go work with your family for a business because things will kind of get ugly a little bit. And then people actually like personally they'll get hurt because you're related to them. But I mean, I don't think it's wrong for her just wanting to quit because 
I mean, she wants to, I think, who is it? Let me see. I mean, it's obvious that she wants to work for her own and she, I don't think she really likes working under him. I'm not that, I'm not sure about the second part that I just said, but I think she's not really an asshole for just wanting to quit. Yeah, I don't, yeah. not at all. Um, especially if the husband is real, like, shitty about them with his, with his wife about not being fast enough or whatever when he doesn't pay her i feel like if he paid her then yeah right then he has a little bit more room to say hey you need to work better or don't be buying stuff but he's not paying her at all right yeah. and you can't just when someone says you can buy whatever you want you don't buy whatever you want right it's, <laughs> if someone gives you like a free unless i guess unless you're an asshole i guess uh, you don't <laughs> spend everyone's money, right? But yeah, she's not an asshole here. I don't think so. I feel like I'd do the same thing. I hate, well, I hate working one, and then I think, uh, <laughs> yeah, no. I was gonna say, I think honestly, never work for free. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Never work for free. Exactly. Because you're cheating yourself out a lot. Because that's your time. And how much effort you put in, and you're not—if you're not getting much back, which it doesn't sound like she's getting it, because I mean she's not obviously like it doesn't seem like she's allowed to buy, as he said, whatever she wants. Mm -hmm. And so it's kind of like, yeah. what's the point? Exactly. Like he literally said, like uh, I'm pretty sure she asked him, "There's no pay for it," and he's like, "No, you can buy whatever you want." And then she's like, "All right," and buys whatever she wants and he gets mad at her like that doesn't make any sense and then he's exactly. going off and buying something for himself for a thousand dollars for his collection that's ridiculous let her buy whatever she wants you want to talk all your stuff saying that oh you can buy whatever you want but then when she does it you get mad but you can do whatever you want and add to your collection that's ridiculous i think that's stupid for sure she should get paid because no matter what she's i feel like yeah like it's family but she deserves to pay because she's putting her actual work and time into it because like like oh like um he's like no but i have to find that's another one he's like no but then i'll have to actually find a secretary that i have to pay like what that you're just like it's stupid yes he's the asshole but she's not he is the asshole not the not the wife yeah 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 because I mean, yeah, I just feel like it's something like he, it's, I don't know, it's like he doesn't really want to, he wants to make all the money to go to them, but then in reality, it's really just going to him. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, like, uh-huh, mm -hmm. yeah, 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 I see what you're saying, yeah, no, there's, I would do the exact same thing if I was a, <laughs> well, not a woman, but if I was, if I was the 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 wife in the situation, I would a thousand percent quit that lame ass job, and then <laughs> we divorce him. I don't know. I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I will, reading it back right now, it says that she says that we have to replace our house's septic tank, but he refuses to save money for it, and that he will take out a loan and pay it with that. <laughs> like. <laughs> and this idea of saving is of buying a thousand dollars now exactly oh. like more for himself less for like because a house is something you come back to it's something that you take comfort in like you go you know you have at the end of the day you can come back relax and just know it's there and like everything's fine but when portions of the house break down then you have to kind of start worrying about that you start losing that comfort and it's kind of like I don't know where I'm going with this, but it's kind of like, I don't know. It's just, it just seems like he doesn't want to put more into her because that's her place. Like that's both their places to stay. But at the end of the day, he's not really choosing them. He's choosing himself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like 1 a.m. It's like 2 a.m. So my mind's kind of like going everywhere trying to put it into what's going on. Nice. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So that will be it today go ahead and follow us on instagram you know tiktok and you know tori steal classic line what's Say the like classic line subscribe. <laughs> like and subscribe <laughs>
Oh, like okay. and subscribe, baby. I was gonna say thanks for coming to Bedroom Talk. That's what I was gonna say.